Hey, it's the Preacher, and I'm in Mammoth Springs, Arkansas, on the Spring River, and I've been trout fishing. And I've been staying at a place, a little Airbnb, called the Riverview Retreat. I don't know, just a small two-bedroom house. Uh, the wife and I spent a couple days here, and I got up this morning and went trout fishing, and I caught some trout. I'm going to show you how I clean trout. I've done videos on this in the past. And uh, I still get people that ask me, how do you clean trout? So we'll do another one. This time I'll, I'll clean, I think, four. Yeah, looky here. That is four, what I call, eating size trout. About 10, 12 inches. Anyways, uh, you say, well, what's the limit? The limit is five. And I stopped one shy of the limit because I'm not done fishing. So anyways, let me get the camera set up. And uh, I'll show you. I normally do this in the creek or in the river but game and fish they don't want you to do that much anymore i don't know what the deal is but so i just decided to bring them home i'll show you how to clean these it's really quick it's really simple i'll take you through it step by step let's go okay first thing you'll need is a sharp knife doesn't have to be a big fillet knife this little buck pocket knife that i carry every day as long as it's sharp will work just fine you're going to grab the trout by his gills, and this way you can control him. Insert the knife right here in the bottom, and we're just going to cut a slit right up between those two fins. We're not going deep. We're just getting through the skin. We're going to go right up between the gills, and then here's the important part. Let's open this up. There's a, a slit, a natural slit. It's, you'll have to push your knife in there, and you come out. And go to the tip and what you've done is you've removed the tongue I don't know if you can see that the tongue is now able to stick out the bottom of the mouth so we're going to stick our finger in that slit that we've made and grab the lower jaw with our other hand and pull and reach through there and put your finger down in the gills and pull and all of the insides will come out all in one fell swoop now put those in a trash sack we are going to haul those off now inside you'll notice there's this big pocket of blood it's like congealed blood all trout have this and you just going to push that out give it a rinse off We'll give these a better clean here in a minute. There you go. Now I'll speed this up and we will get it done. Okay, now that the trout have been gutted, all we need to do is wash them up and put them in a storage bag to freeze. Or if you were going to eat them, you could just put them in some water to uh, salt water, maybe draw out some blood or something. So I have a one gallon bag that I'm going to freeze these in. So let's get a little water. I'm using cold water here. And all we're trying to do is make sure that the inside of this cavity is clean and there's nothing on the outside of the fish because I tend to cook the fish in the skin just like this. I stuff the inside with bell peppers and onions and butter and seasoning and then you can roll it in foil and put it on a grill or you can smoke it or you can batter it and fry it just as is. Now drop that in a sack. By the way, I would say four of these would make a great meal for two people. If you had a lot of sides and other stuff to go with it, you know, you could serve one per person. But this is just the cleanup phase. We're just making sure everything's clean. The thing we took out is washed off. Okay, this is an important step. We want to fill the bag with water. Not completely, but enough to completely submerge the trout. Water encapsulating the fish will keep the fish from getting freezer burned. Now, we want to seal the bag and press the air out. By pressing the air out, we'll ensure that the trout freezes in a way that we can all enjoy it without any damage from being frozen. 
So I'm just forcing all the air up into the corner. Now I have a bag that is completely filled with water. The trout's completely underwater. And we can lay that bag in the freezer and let it freeze solid. Then we'll thaw it all out at one time and everything will be great. That's how you put away four trout in about five minutes and tell other people how to do it.